Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for NerdyConnections.com. And today I have some tips on how to improve your workflow with anything graphic on the computer. So let's do it right now. This is how you design uh, graphics for t-shirts. And I'm going to take uh, a file here. I have a, a Adobe Illustrator file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new document. And I'm actually going to make the width uh, 11 inches. And I'm going to make the height 17 inches. So I'm going to press OK. And I have my new document. So I'm actually going to go back to my birds file and I'm actually going to select both these birds and I'm going to copy command C and I'm going to command V and paste them on in my new document. So, so I actually can take both of them, select both of them and actually shift and scale up. So as long as I stay within these bounds I can actually design my my graphics. So I can actually take these and I can duplicate it. I'm pushing uh, Option or Alt on the computer. And so I can make another bird. And I can scale that down as well. And I can make, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring that down. And so I can make a few of these. Now, the reason why I'm doing it in Illustrator is, Illustrator is a vector based program. Yeah. Now a vector graphic, if I needed to say, oh this bird needs to be bigger, I can just make it bigger and know that it will print effectively. So I would suggest doing this, um, making an 11 by 17 and you can actually, this is the canvas you can uh, work on and you'll know that things will print effectively and doing it in an Illustrator is going to get great results. Now, now that I have this file, I need to save it. And saving it is a very uh, important step as well. We actually go to File, and we can save it. Now, we can save it in different formats. We can save it as an Illustrator, an EPS, uh, or a PDF. And depending on your, you need to talk to the person that's printing uh, your t-shirts and ask what they prefer. I tend to think that uh, JPEGs are not the way to go. I would definitely go for an EPS. But if you built your uh, file in Photoshop, uh, you can save it out as a high resolution JPEG. But I would definitely confer with your printer and he was actually tell you the what you need to uh, have your files as. So I'm just going to save this as an EPS. I'm going to save it as birds and you'll get another dialog box here and depending on your version you can save it I like to save it down as the as a 10 or a CS document because that's more universal some of the printers do not have the Creative Suite 5 and 4 and they probably won't be able to open this so I save down I'll save it as an Illustrator 10 and there you go. So I would send that file, the APS file, to the printer and that's how you would design graphics for a t-shirt. I'm Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for NerdyConnections.com and thanks for watching.